Hey, this is day 11 of the Summer of Wonder road trip through the Rockies. This proved to be one of the best days ever. Hope you enjoy it. Another beautiful morning in TV, but this is the one where we leave. And this is the girl who doesn't want to go. The thing about dogs is that they live in the moment so much, but she doesn't know what all she has to look forward to. So it's going to be all a great surprise to her. Okay, so this day had an extra piece I didn't mention. There's a creature in the upstairs bathroom of the cabin, and it turns out it takes two tough cowboys hooting and hollering to get it out. <laughs> this is how the day started. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Oh, oh, the good towels. Poor guy's had a heart attack. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> oh, he's kind of cute, isn't he? Good, darling. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's gone. He's going back in the house. Here's the whole crew that got the pack rat out of the house in one piece. Okay, we're getting a little bit of a later start here this morning, leaving TP on a very bumpy road and headed west, which is exciting. For those of you who may know me even a little bit, you probably realize that taking a drive down a road I've never been on before is about as good as it gets for me. So that is my entire day. We are on dirt roads driving west towards Cody, Wyoming, although we're not going that far, across the top, a top of the Bighorn Range. So I'm super excited. We have several stops to make today. I don't know if we'll get to all of them. And then finally, hopefully, to a campground that I did find online that looks pretty great. And I really hope that, that there is space for us. Well, we left about two minutes ago, and so we're just going to have to be patient today. Yep. Oh, look at that. Like the parting of the Red Sea. Hi, friends. Hi, baby. You with your mama? It's a good day to be a cow. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh, you're just little. You're just little. Okay, this road, holy moly, has been full of wonder and um, also a lot of 4 by 4s coming through right now. There are occasional signs with information and it's just, you know, you feel like you're out here and you are in the wilderness. Read a little bit about how the mail pouch, stagecoach type mail delivery system used this road. Um, and these guys back in the mid 1800s before the railroad came in, this was how they moved mail. I can't imagine, especially in any other months than June, July, and August. And while this road is pretty rough, I can't imagine what it was like in the 1850s. At one point I thought about staying here tonight, but um, I just thought the name was absolutely hilarious, but <laughs> there's gotta be a story there. So I was dead wrong about being on a dirt road all day. So we are on Highway 14, US 14 for five miles, and it is a very much paved uh, two lane road. And it's still super beautiful, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm happy to not be bumpy for a few minutes at least. We're on our way to Porcupine Falls. Okay, I'm just minding my own business, driving on this beautiful road. See you guy pulled off to the side. No big deal. Just look over to see if, you know, everything is okay. And all I see is him bending over in his bare butt because he's changing his clothes. Can you not just go behind the other side of the car? What the heck? Yes, we're out in the middle of nowhere, but there's still, there's still a little bit of decency, right? I didn't need to see that. I read in one of my travel guide books that for this is route 14a and the book said just remember a is for awesome well i can't really argue a is for awesome it's really beautiful i love the rock formations look at this one coming up giant giant thing up there thank you lord for 
a gorgeous day. Thank you for all of the amazing wonders that you have created. And I feel so blessed to have the opportunity to seek them out and go find them and enjoy every minute of it. Gosh, it's amazing. It's so awe-inspiring. New animal sighting. Oh my gosh, there's just sheep everywhere. Okay, guys, come on now. There are thousands of them. That was an unexpected part of the day. We just saw a couple thousand sheep crossing the road and going up the mountain. So I just met this guy who pulled over also. He was from New York and um, has been here before and said that there's actually a couple hundred thousand sheep in this area and shepherds and uh, just came across the shepherd actually, sheep herder on his horse with his two uh, sheep dog. How cool is that? You just don't know what you're gonna see, and I love that. And maybe you're not tickled by these things, but this is the stuff that I just love. We've had a lot happen this morning, and it's not even noon yet. On with the day. Okay, Lex and I are taking off on our first real Wyoming hike. Um, we're headed to Porcupine Falls. I can hear the water. It's only a half a mile hike, but it's all downhill to get to the waterfall. 40, 440 feet down and then another 440 feet back up. Uh, so we're gonna check it out, but we're definitely at the top of a beautiful canyon. So let's go see what it looks like. So I'm always amazed by the this workmanship that has to go into creating these trails. This one so far has, it's just a lot of, it's a lot of steps and I think it's gonna be a lot of steps till we get to the bottom. Okay, this is Porcupine Falls. It's growing out of this canyon. Okay, I think it's 200 feet down to the bottom, and there's a pool down there, so we are going to continue on and check it out. I think found a new place to swim. What do you think, Lex? Pretty great, huh? Okay, the falls was amazing. The hike back up was hard. And we met some fun people along the way, which I'll tell you about in a bit. But um, now we are doing what is either a four or a six mile hike, just a couple miles down the road to Bucking Mule Falls, which is a 550 foot drop. So pretty psyched about that. And I think I'm more psyched about the fact that we don't have to hike down to the bottom of it and back up. So. Um, this is a really pretty trail. We're just getting started, so let's enjoy the afternoon. So pretty. We are very high up. And there is a 600 foot waterfall down there. Okay, we are way up here. Bucking mule. Wow, wow, what a freaking afternoon. Just never know what you're going to see. You don't know who you're going to meet. You don't know what's going to happen. And let me just tell you, friends, that I found an abundance of wonder around the bend today. And it's still only 5 o'clock. I'd found lots of if I knew. So today's turned out to be about people as much as incredible scenery and we've had plenty of both. So I met these four lovely ladies, Wyoming ladies who were on a little mini girls trip. They're all ranchers' wives. They just sort of let Lexi and I hike along with them today and they were fascinating. I just love them. They all ended up buying a book by the time it was all said and done, which cracks me up. And I have this picture of them. And I hope that they will stay in touch and leave a comment or follow me on Instagram or something so that we 
we can stay in touch. I thoroughly enjoyed our conversations and I learned a lot about ranching. And really what I learned is that I don't know anything about ranching. So shout out to the ladies, Laura, Kyle, Patty, and Cindy. You guys made my day. It was so much fun hiking and thank you for letting Lexi and I tag along with you. So of course it's rare that a day goes exactly as planned and that would be the case with this one as well. So Lexi and I pulled into our campground where I was hoping to stay tonight. None of it felt right. So we're tired and we're hungry, but we ditched and that's okay. If we, I hadn't paid for it. It was all of seven dollars if I had, um, but we found another campground and hopefully this one is going to be the ticket. We are going all the way into the town of Lovell, which we weren't planning on doing until tomorrow, which is fine. It was only another 20 minutes and there are two campgrounds in and around town. Anyway, all this to say, trust your gut, right? So you have to trust your gut when you're when you are solo road tripping. If something doesn't feel right, don't do it. Just leave. And that's what we did. And it wasn't scary, but it just it didn't it gave me like I was sure that I wasn't supposed to stay there. And so we are in search of a better place. So we're still in search. The two places in level were an absolute no-go. One just looked like a dumpy parking lot. I'm not even sure it was the right place, but I did see an RV parked there. The other one was a city campground and had about six spaces. Felt very awkward, right in the middle of town. Not for me. Not a lot of options. It's quarter of seven. So ironically, we are headed out of town and we're going to a place that I have had on my list for three years as a place to go, Buffalo Bill State Park. And I had decided against it at some point because I, it just didn't seem perfect. And when I was planning, I was looking for perfect. Guess what? I'm not looking for perfect anymore. I'm looking for a safe, comfortable, some place that's not full and some place that is also uh, not scary. We're gonna drive an extra hour, which I don't care. It's a beautiful day. I'm exploring, whatever. I don't care if we're driving an extra hour. Um, as long as I can put up my tent in the daylight. It's been an amazing day, so I'm not gonna complain about having to forage a little here for a place to stay. Just a little insight into how these things sometimes go. Guys, I love a good tunnel. On our way to Buffalo Bill State Park, we are just about four miles away. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's a triple. It's a triple tunnel. Ooh, this is a big one. My goodness! Look at that, you guys. Buffalo Bill State Park. This is where we ended up. I'm actually filming this in the morning because we didn't get here until after dark or very close to dark and I do not love putting up my tent in the dark at all. It's super frustrating. The bugs were bad. It was not good. But this is our epic view. So not everything goes right in one day but it all works out. See you tomorrow.